Good morning, my fellow Toastmasters. I welcome you all to uh, Richard meeting uh, number uh, one of Agar Bagar of Post Club. Uh, before we start the meeting uh, on an official note, I have three ground rules. Let us all follow those ground rules so that uh, we can be comfortable and also respect us. First, uh, let us not uh, let us refrain from speaking about uh, sex, religion, and politics when we are on stage so that as to respect others and not hurt others' feelings. Uh, let us uh, keep our mobile on silent mode or let us shut it down. I'll give you five seconds to do that. Last but not the least, uh, please do not go around us. Please don't speak to others. Uh, when somebody is speaking on stage, if you want to do so, please do so during the applause of meeting the speeches. So with that, uh, let me Please invite Toastmaster uh, Deep with the round of applause. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you and a warm welcome to all of you for this uh, meeting 12 of free charter, Nagarbhavi Toastmaster Club. I declare the meeting open. We understand there are some guests over here. I would like you to please introduce. Myself, Dr. Nobhima. I just now I'm working in VPR right now. And even I'm working in a front end design or a part end. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. My name is Vijay. I'm part of the Pakistan Toastmasters. Uh, I've been uh, a Toastmaster since last six months or so. Uh, it's been a great uh, platform for learning as well as uh, getting to know more people. Uh, by profession, I'm a child accountant. Uh, I work with a company called Priya. Otherwise, I'll let my life in the number six. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Hi, everyone. I'm Priya, and I work in the business analyst. Uh, for the past 10 years, I've been in Bangalore, and uh, I'm here as a postmaster, so I can learn the art of storytelling. Um, I welcome you both. I can see you guys for the first time. And hello to everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Priya. <laughs> my name is Pandey Rajan. So I'm part of two clubs, uh, Corona Postmas Club and Beer and Postmas Club. Uh, so I'm currently working in Ascension as a team lead, as a cloud architecture. So I have been part of Postmas uh, academically for five years. Thank you. I'm Kala, working as a student in Waterford. So since Monia, I'm attending the three Vista Postmas, but this club is nearby to my house. So, therefore, I am looking to attend this club. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hello, good morning. I am Subramanian. I am also a member of our two clubs, Vigil Postmaster and Mikhail Community Center. I am here to do the role of the family. Thank you. Thank you. Such nice to know people, uh, new uh, our guests, and also our postmasters from different clubs that have uh, come here. So, I would like to give you a brief introduction before we go ahead with the uh, the, the next session uh, that's about the Toastmaster. So Toastmaster is a non-profit uh, educational organization helping people across the globe to come forward and speak about, uh, that is, about your communication skills. It develops your communication skills, leadership skills, and also public speaking skills. In today's scenario, we all want to get into public speaking. Now, how this all started is, uh, our founder, Dr. Ralph P. Smite, C. Smitey in US, that is, it is in St. Anne, California, YMCA Club, on 22nd of October, 1924. He formed this club. So we just completed the 98th anniversary of our Toastmasters Club. That uh, we are joined, we are the members of the club who is nearing a century. So uh, 
uh, almost uh, 100 years. So it's one of the best clubs in the world, which helps you to think about public speaking. We also conduct youth development programs for students about 12 years, uh, that is in schools and colleges, especially in the US, there are not many programs going on. And we also help uh, professionals and non-professionals, like the people who are like students and working professionals to come forward and we will, uh, they can gather over here every uh, Sunday we meet here at 10.30 a.m. And uh, we gather here to, you know, to exchange things and learn many things. The greatest thing about the Toastmasters Club is that we provide great evaluation. That is unbiased evaluation, and that's the reason Toastmasters is known for its evaluation. So we get not many feedback. It's not that only we come here to do our roles, specific roles, what we have, which we'll be learning from our Toastmaster for the same day. And we come here to also upgrade our skills. Every moment we are learning, it's a learning experience to all of us. And I would like to share my couple of experiences in Toastmasters. I too am a member like you, just six months old. Uh, I joined the club uh, April 1st, 2022, and it is Chalk and Duster Toastmasters Club. And it was an online experience. And it was really good because for the last two years, I work in corporate. Uh, I work for a US-based company called the Victoria Secrets. They're one of the top brands in the US. And I work as a senior infrastructure engineer into networks and things. I also do uh, a lot of coaching. So up to now, we were in an online world. And now we have come to an offline world where we need to interact with people, know, uh, try to know their body language and various other things. So that is the reason I opted to join this club, Nagarwami Hoots Masters Club, which is very near to my residence, just a five kilometers away. Uh, this is helping me a lot in developing and speaking to uh, students. I normally take, I have uh, two divisions. One uh, is about my public speaking uh, training program, which I do for students. I do online plus an offline program for students. Secondly, I also do a mindset coaching for working professionals who have an issue with work-life balance. So uh, I just wanted to say, say in a nutshell that Toastmasters has helped me a lot in developing my skills. And especially after joining the offline club, it has helped me a lot. So I hope you will have a great time today and you'll be taking so many things from the speakers who will be coming ahead. So let me go ahead and let you also let you know, in case if you want to use a washroom, you can you know, open the door and take a left turn towards the left. In case if you need water, it's just straight away. At the moment you open the door, you can have it over there. And uh, let me go ahead and introduce uh, the great personality who will be taking the whole show forward. He's an application developer uh, who is Lee, who is working in Accenture, is one of the topmost companies you all know about. And he is a very passionate person as a human being, as I know him, as I've seen him for a couple of months right now, very passionate, always down to earth. He is, uh, uh, you know, our, I mean to say, he's in the Toastmasters for the last five years, and he's a member for the two club, Koramangala club, and also the advanced club. He's also a coach for one of the, uh, I think, uh, India uh, Toastmasters Club, and uh, also a great coach, which we can understand just when you interact with people, you come to know how good they are in interaction. And his hobbies are, I mean, there are not many hobbies, maybe reading books and meeting new people. That's what this person you know, come to know about. When you meet such person, you come to know how they are and how they interact with you and all those things. So let me go ahead and uh, Welcome, this great personality who is with us is none other than Mr. Pandya Raja. Also the division director, uh, the A, A division director for us, and he'll be taking the things forward. Over to you, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, uh, Toastmaster uh, Pradeep. Mm -hmm. uh, please give a big round of applause to Pradeep. So Pradeep joined Toastmaster for six months. But so he was in the, he, he was a club club level evaluation and ISC champion. So he is going to contest very soon area level contest also. It's a great uh, tremendous achievement, uh, Postmaster Pradeep. So give me a big round of applause for him. It's all the others. Feel like a clone line when I get introduction like a person like you. Which I uh, feel like I was over the moon. Thank you very much. Uh, so now I think today I just, as a PMO, Toastmaster today, so my duty uh, 
to introduce the team of the day. So every Toastmaster meeting, we have a, have a team. So anybody uh, tell what is the team of the day today? Yeah, oh, nice. Yeah, in this case, I think our, work, our PR work friend. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think the charity begins at the point. So why I was choose this topic, I think this topic uh, quite familiar for me uh, last couple of years after I joined Toastmaster. Usually I get table topic like, okay, charity begins at the point. What is about that? I was, uh, before Toastmaster, I'm very much, uh, I'm not familiar with the idioms, the phrases and that. I directly, I was going to audit charity. I was directly going to the meaning. After Sunday, I realized it's completely, there's a lot of beautiful stories, a lot of great things uh, mentioned in the particular phrase. So for me, the personal take of all the charity things at home, it's, I think, it is a past experience. So people know I was very much interact with people, I was calling people and uh, uh, we see the happy birthday and asking how things are going and everything. But certain point of time, if I was doing this one for everyone, honestly, no. So I was somewhere, I was uh, did not uh, uh, do the same kind of things, my very personal, I think my family or as very close friends, I think who were all for very, uh, who were all with me for from my childhood. So I found actually myself, oh my God, okay. So there is a, some blank space. So afterwards only I started to think, okay, yeah, first we need to start from home. So when you are doing your, yourself and something you need to start from your home, so that will, uh, that, that will be a great action. So afterwards I was, it will not happen for over the night. So I started to started to apply at least, okay. Uh, honestly, my mother never knows her birthday, own birthday. My father also, because so this trend has happened after the 80s and 90s. Only. So they used to miss actually wherever I'm there. Since I think I gone, even I was in uh, Kuwait, even if I was in uh, some part of India, my mother used to celebrate on my birthday, but we never know something like that. So what I did recently, I was called her <laughs> uh, randomly, happy birthday. She said, oh, today's my birthday, but I told her, yeah, today's your birthday, I found her. So she was feeling happy. Okay, I thought, okay, mom. see how the charity, when you are starting that, uh, the good thing from home, so how you were close one felt uh, something is better, it's always good. So this is my take about uh, this topic. So we will discuss more on that. So before that, I think anybody has your own opinion about uh, the place, you can share your experience on that. Anybody? You have any thoughts about that? Any your own experience? I mean, so what is your opinion on that? Yeah. Thing is, especially I focus on the kids, my daughter, that uh, whatever you want to do, first start with your own self, do something good for your own self, and then show it to the others. It's like first do yourself and then tell others. So that will be an easy way for others to carry forward. I believe. Exactly. Super, super. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, uh, charity could be anything, uh, even with sharing of knowledge, uh, sharing of from the old books to the uh, maids, the kids, or whoever yes. are around at home who are actionable. Right? Those are things that probably I as well inculcated my uh, daughter, she's about uh, 12 years old now. So, these are the things that I initiated. Small things, but yeah, hopefully some part for the next generation to take some yeah. yeah, yeah, good that. Also, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, I think that when the I mean uh, brought that point, yeah, I completely agree. So there is a something that uh, happened in my life also. Uh, when I started to ask people to follow something. Example, uh, when I was uh, uh, taking in role of VP education in my club, I asked the people to deliver your speech, deliver your speech. I was beginning them literally asked them to deliver your speech. So finally, my president called me. Okay, so when did you uh, deliver your speech? I told, I think, eight months back. So that also, because of my, that time my VP education asked me, you need to complete your icebreaker. Otherwise, uh, I'm not allowed to, my VP education nominated me. Uh, Top of me, I delivered. So, uh, my friend, I told the same to my president. He said, So, Pandey, if you are asking people to deliver your speech, you should start. 
So yeah, that really changed my mind, mind actually, because I went first. The more I complete the first person one year, I deliver only phone speech. Okay. So afterwards, I I took up the challenge. So I started to deliver my speech. Okay. So now I think I saw so okay, I got I deliver the speech. Guys come on and deliver the speech. So now I have some uh, honestly, I have something to tell. Okay, yeah, I also started. This startup. So that is the one thing actually I started myself the journey. It's really uh, reflected in other people in the my club also. Even my mentees and who are uh, recently joined, they also started to deliver the speech. So that great actually I told before. That is I completely agree with that. Uh, so before we move on, actually we got guest actually. So 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 please I know about you. So please introduce yourself uh, to everyone. Your name. Where are you working? Uh, so what you, what is your expertise in the meeting? Where I think uh, 
people need toastmaster where the any toastmaster club uh, have difficult time they need support he and his team uh, help them so let's call distinguished toastmaster subramanian This is one of the very detailed introduction of the concept. In fact, uh, I did not know or some facts about myself before I came. So uh, today I am here to play the role of Janan Valita, wherein I will uh, note down everything that went well. Throughout this meeting, and also note down what could have been done better to do my role in a better way. I have a few assigned role takers. First of all, I would like to invite uh, Toastmaster Pradeep, who is playing the role of a time man. Thank you very much. Hello, I'll be the time for today. And uh, I'll be making a note of each and every uh, speaker coming over here and delivering the speeches. I'll be making a note of the timings. So I can see that whenever you deliver a speech, it should be within the timings. The first is if it is uh, anybody on the ice breaker over here, ice breaker speech. So normally the the speech will be five to seven minutes, and uh, at the end of uh, five minutes, I'll be showing a green card like this. At the end of six minutes, this one. At the end of Seven minutes, it will be a red, and it will be shown red until and unless you complete your speech. So, thirty minutes grace period is given. That is before five minutes and after seven minutes. Similarly, the next section would be a, a table topic wherein you need to speak about a, a topic which will be given to you. It will be for one minute to two minutes. So, at the end of one minute, it will be green. At the end of one and a half minutes, yellow. At the end of two minutes, it will be red. Again, a thirty minutes uh, grace period would be given to you. And finally, it would be for the evaluators. Evaluators will be given two to three minutes. So at the end of two minutes, it will be a green card will be displayed. At the end of two and a half minutes, a yellow. At the end of three minutes, it will be a red card, and it will be shown red until the person completes the uh, the evaluation. So I'll be called upon later as per the general evaluator. I'll be going ahead and giving the time limits, whatever each speaker has taken. And we will also request all of you to use the word of the day, which will be given by the grammarian. So, in your speeches, please try to incorporate the word of the day. Thank you. Over to you. So, we have uh, one of the budding uh, talk masters, uh, Riya, to take up the role of a uh, general evaluator, I mean, language evaluator. So, let us invite her to explain the role. Hi everybody, good morning. I am playing the role of grammarian and our founder. First, let me tell you what I have. Uh, first, let me tell you the role of the grammarian. I will be paying close attention to the speeches that will be delivered uh, throughout the, uh, uh, you know, the two hours that we spend here. And I will also be giving you the word of the day. And the word of the day is sneaky. Which means fussy about their needs. Uh, example would be I'm sneaky. Fussy about their needs. 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 Yeah. Uh, example would be I'm very sneaky about the food I eat. So it means I cannot eat something that I don't like. I'm very fussy about my the choice of the food I have. Can you spell it? Yeah. I'll help you make it. Uh, I'll be taking notes of any uh, misuse uh, in the language uh, and also um, provide uh, Im improvement points. And uh, coming to our, our partner, I will be making notes of the syllabus used by the speaker. Thank you. With that, uh, let us uh, start the meeting with lots of fun. Over to you, Mr. Sudhar. Thank you very much, distinguished uh, Osman Subramanian and his team. So let's move on uh, next segment. I'll prepare, prepare speech next segment. Uh, so for that, uh, before introduce uh, that first speaker. Uh, so I'm going to be evaluating that speech. Uh, the, our first speaker uh, is going to deliver her 
level rule on uh, P2 that objecting on the speech, she is going to deliver the speech and she will get that uh, feedback from me and she will implement uh, the feedback in her uh, next speech. She can deliver the same speech or else she can speech a, a different speech also. Speech could be humor or informal or else, uh, anything else. Uh, about that, this uh, speaker, uh, she already introduced herself. So, however, so my uh, my pleasure to introduce from uh, my dad, uh, from me. Uh, so she is a super uh, She is working in that uh, government organization. Uh, she is very much interested to reading the book. Uh, she likes to play badminton. She, uh, I consider she is a, she is one of the pillar of this uh, Navar Bari uh, club. The way I think she support and she motivates me. Uh, in the back end, actually, whenever I was finding the role, she, uh, she always telling uh, Pandi, I did work putting Atta Prabhupada. So that, that, that means a lot, actually, uh, like this kind of uh, and, uh, Navar Bari area. So let's call uh, Toastmaster Kala. If you want to walk fast, walk alone. If you want to walk fast, walk together. Good morning, first mother, first mother, and my dear Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The first airline in India is Tata Airlines, and the first hotel in India is Taj Hotel. Do we have any guests sir, who has established for me? None other than Ratan Tata family. Ratan Tata are great businessmen and also a chairperson of Tata Books. Ratan Tata born on 1927, December 28. Parents are Marvel Tata and Sony Tata. Unfortunately, Ratan Tata Ratan Tata's parents separated when he was in the age of 10. Since then, Ratan Tata was nurtured by his grandfather, J.R.D. Tata. Further, Ratan Tata went to America to complete his engineering. Once he has completed his engineering, he also got a job in IBM company. But his grandfather, J.R.D. Tata, suggested him to join Tata Steel Company, which is located in Jamshedpur, India. So, as per the suggestion of his grandfather, Ratan Tata joined Tata Steel Company, which is located in India. And after a few days, J.R.D. Tata decided to nominate and appoint him as the chairperson of the company. But the members of the company opposed him, opposed the decision of J.R.D. Tata, because Ratan Tata didn't have much experience to handle such a huge company. But still, J.R.D. Tata appointed him as a chairperson of Tata Steel Company. Once Ratan Tata became the chairperson of Tata Steel Company, the profits increased from 6,000 crores to 6 lakh crores. And Ratan Tata also started manufacturing Indica cars. Initially, people were not much attracted to purchase Indica cars. Finally, Ratan Tata decided to sell all the cars to the Ford Company of America. So he went to America to discuss this matter with the chairperson of Ford Company. But then Ratan Tata got humiliated by the chairperson of Ford Company. He asked, why do you manufacture these cars if you don't know who to manufacture the cars? Ratan Tata completely disappointed and went back to India and he made some necessary modifications to the same Indica cars. And after a few days, again the same people attracted to purchase the same Indica car. So after a few years, the same Ford company went under law. The chairperson of Ford company offered Ratan Tata to purchase his own company. So Ratan Tata purchased Ford company for 9,300 crores. So dear Toastmasters, all these incidents shows that how Ratan Tata was positive towards humiliation. 
He said in his own words that collect all the stones from the people and build a monument. Further, Ratan Tata, once he was traveling on the road, he saw an entire family, like father, mother, and their two children were traveling by a bike. So he realized that how difficult it is to travel by a bike. So on that day, he decided to manufacture a low cost car only for the sake of common people's safety. So therefore, Ratan Tata discussed the same matter with the Talib. But the Talib disagreed with the idea of Ratan Tata. But finally, Ratan Tata succeeded to manufacture a low cost car that is not a nano car, which is the low price car among the world. Though the profit was zero, still Ratan Tata didn't stop to manufacture nano cars only because of the, the safety purpose of common people. This shows that how concerned he is having towards common people. So therefore, government of India recognized his wonderful contribution to the society, to the nation. Government of India awarded him Padma Shri, Padma Vibhushi, and Doctorate Awards. So, yet Osman, Radhan Tata has achieved a lot in his life, he got many awards, but still Radhan Tata is single. Because when Radhan Tata was, 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 uh, he was studying in America, he was attracted by a girl. But after a few days, when he came back to India to work in Tata Steel Company, the girl got married with another person. So after a few years, when Ratan Tata went back to America, he came to know about this matter. Finally, Ratan Tata disappointed, and even till today, Ratan Tata is single. Yet, Osmanthar, as we have seen many businessmen in this world, so most of them, they are very much concerned about their own profit. But Ratan Tata is more concerned about the common people. So therefore, even today, he is in the heart of common people. So I would like to conclude my speech, a great quote of Ratan Tata. Nothing can destroy idols. Nothing can destroy idols but its own rust. Likewise, nothing can destroy a person but by its own mindset. Nothing can destroy a person but their own mindset. Thank you. Thank you, Pikram Nam Abbas, to Master Kala. Hi, uh, my name is Madhu. I am a meditator and I say Nadu Gandhi. So I I've been interested in you know publicity and things. So I attended uh, Toastmasters in Mandishram last Saturday. I couldn't go yesterday, but I, since I came to the zone in Nadu Gandhi, I just wanted to visit in. I had an appointment, so I couldn't come in earlier. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you. So I came with this one and speak into my language. Just the benefit of this actually is that I think first person we have a three different segments: prepared speech, table topic, and uh, evaluation. So today we have uh, two speakers. Uh, the, uh, one speaker already completed, so we have a more speech, it's table topic, and the uh, speaker. So thank you very much for the uh, uh, Let's move on. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Frankie gets the officer then screamed that why are you doing this? Vijay, Vijay, and she's doing what? Ten. Did I ask you how many guys are related? Did you know it was prohibited to take a snap over him? No, sir. I was only checking with my camera, looking on the phone. <laughs> he sees my phone at the very moment. Only checking your camera is working, he mocked at me. After a while, he realized that the photos have already been deleted. It was uh, almost about half an hour of interrogation. Over there. They took my address in Bangalore, my office address, as well as my in law address over there in Hassan, before they could make a law. By the time we walked out and started a journey from Iran towards Ali Biru, we got some panicky calls from my concerned in laws. We had to reinforce things were on time. We are on our way to Delhi. At that moment, the wife turns back. Did that? Did that already? <laughs> I said, oh, "All right, it happens." I was so glad that she didn't open a trap in front of the officer, and also, I was so glad the voice was not really stern. It was probably we were newly married. <laughs> we continued our journey. It was about 5.30 in the evening. The crimson rays of the sun on the lake was a sight to really die for. But I really couldn't enjoy the picturesque location of the place because my face had already been crimson with the incident at Israel and also my wife's discourses alongside. <laughs> She went on. She gave me six to seven instances of where I had not heard her voice despite being underlining what she asked me to do. That also included once when I delayed buying some jewelry by one day and the prices have stayed off. <laughs> With this, we made it to Kalibiru. We're back. It was our time. To get back to Bangalore. Uh, as we started, I noticed the air pressure in the tire was not complete. So I told him we need to get this fixed. The wife says, if you don't be getting to Hassan Town, it'll get delayed for about half an hour to reach Bangalore. So let's get the air pressure done on the way on the highway. I think I should listen to <laughs> As we started towards Bangalore, at the outskirts of Hassan, as the luck would have it, we had a flat tire. <clears throat> then it took us about an hour and a half to get it done because we were already in the outskirts, somebody to get that done. Internally, I was smiling to myself. Probably I should not have listened to my wife, but I did not voice it for the right reasons. By the time we again started our journey post this, it was a peaceful, peaceful thing at the least time now. We are both masters and guests, especially for the married men. <laughs> the words of your wife need not be ignored. At least you will not be blamed for the uncontrollable. Thank you. Thanks. I completely agree with the fact that I wonder why it is. Whenever I used to start my, from my home, it looks like very sunny sometimes. She asked me to take the umbrella. I just ignore her. Well, no, no, I, because I was, <laughs> but 
when I was back to home, I also I was in those months every summer, heavy rain. Because of, I don't I don't have because I don't have any of my personal use. I mean I completely I depend upon Ola buses. I need to walk at least 300 meters, 400 meters. So she asked you, is there any rain there? Uh, I yes. Did you take umbrella? No. I told her. <laughs> yeah, I completely agree. I think three to four times I was faced. Thank you very much. <laughs> Bring me that memory. So now with that, I think we have the previous, we have done the previous week. And let's we can discuss about the uh, charity begins at home. Uh, so now anybody have even more that about the charity begins at home? Uh, Kala or Subhu sir, you have anything about the team or your opinion about the team? So, well, in this case, everybody is enough. Yeah. <laughs> I have one thought. Uh, that, uh, that self transformation will get into world transformation. We always think uh, uh, you change, you change. You, we always tell others you change, you change. But when it comes to can I change, can I make that change, my hand goes down. We want others to change, but we never want ourselves to change. Right. What we, what I understand is that even in my coaching, I just tell first focus on your own self. Because when you make yourself polished and better, uh, outer things will automatically be different. Because we are all the things, what is going on on our outer world is just because it's our inner world. Let's polish our inner world, let's get better first. Or outside, everything will reflect automatically. Thank you. Thank you very much. Exactly. The same thing on this would be used to blame always for politicians. Uh, okay, the politician doing the corruption, the uh, politician, uh, politician doing uh, X, Y, Z, everything. But if you notice ourselves, uh, and not generalized. Maybe we may also do a little bit about uh, uh, rules. We did not follow the rules properly. So, if you just imagine if you are going in a main, main road, the signal is still in red, but there is no bus, and we will uh, violate that rules. Okay, so sometimes what happens is so we talk, okay, nobody there, but we can, uh, we can violate. But sometimes what happens, uh, it may be affect other people. So the changes should come from our circuit, even whenever we get opportunity to uh, violate uh, rules or else uh, situation to be broke the rules actually, we should not uh, broken. So the same thing, uh, to be honest, actually when the carrier started, so that time we know that uh, tax, during the tax submission, we used to do for uh, honestly, I agree on this record also. Uh, so that rental receipt thing actually. So there is a very small thing. We may have thought, okay, yeah, it's a biggest claim. But what we used to do, we will uh, do that rental receipt actually. Uh, even that we, we don't have for any rental receipt, but we used to do something. Okay, make it for eight thousand three hundred, and we submit to that some tax benefit. So we should avoid uh, so those kind of the situation also. So that's why the charity would begin from ourselves first. So that's why we have rights to tell others, we have rights to blame others. So that's all. Uh, so let's move on to the next segment. So next I think table topic uh, uh, segment. So the where actually even this also can uh, participate. It will help uh, you improve your informed process. So for that I will call uh, Pradeep. Uh, I think today we have backup one taken, so I think that's it. Okay, so I will support the table topic master. Uh, so he is a part of online club uh, in the in Pune. So he is so uh, he is a life coach also. So he is also one of the builder of this Nagarwari from starting onwards. He used to take that role. I think Mr. We are in free chat meeting. We told he used to attend and he motivates everyone to attend. Uh, let's call him for him. Uh, so I'll be taking the table topics for today. I'll be the table topic master. And table topic helps us in improving our impromptu skills. That means to say, whenever you are told to speak at any moment, you will you know, stand up and you will start speaking about this. And normally here we, uh, we develop our ability of listening, thinking, organizing, and also speaking ability. And it can be at any moment. It can be in your office. It can be in your college. It can be in your corporate. So wherever it is, you need to come up and start speaking. Here you will be having one minute to two minutes to speak. Minimum you need to speak for a minute. And maximum you can go for two minutes. But a grace period of 30 minutes will be given to you. 
right? So all of you should be, I mean, say, I hope you're all ready for the thing. Let me just get my book. Anybody, any volunteers would like to come? Tell them, please. Just put your hands together. So the, uh, the slogan for today is Charity begins at home. So my question to you is, what is that one thing what you have done in your life? In this entire life, where you feel very proud of yourself, anything which has helped you to be proud of yourself. In that life, uh, let's say recently, I'm a person who has more pair of books than John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love reading novels, I love reading history or something like that. My mom got curious what do I read all the time? My sister, she spent time on mobile watching some movies. But I do read some books. She got curious what are you doing? You're like, okay, you bring me also some books, I was like, so that's the one thing I've done recent, in recent days, which is uh, making her read some books, and here in, in the night she'll be reading, she'll be, uh, you know, for instance, in the morning she'll be talking about, yeah, I read this in this book, that story happens, you know what happens in the night, like, yeah, you know, if I tell you, they will be you, <laughs> but the suspense will be there in my reading room, that, that's how I find love in the book, and that's the one thing, for my sister, yeah, my sister is something, you know, like, she's seven years old, and I'm like a kid to her. <laughs> but still, I try to teach her something uh, from gadgets. You know, but she's like, oh, my network is not working. Or my data is not working. It's not working. Yeah, as I said, charity means at home. Yeah, first thing we do is help our, you know, other people. For me, or helping them. So my mom, the reading, the books, and all that. So my sister, the gadgets, the laptops, the keys, and the in the back, you know, back of the house. So my friends, yeah, my friends do come to my home. So like uh, they also get inspired from this. They're like, oh, I'll also read some books and read some books. I'll order the whole life. Like that. So many things are there. Which I help some my own people. Like that. I will work in Escort. Uh, for me, charity means uh, some people helping others. But as the slogan says, charity begins at home for people or grandparents. You know, I remember in uh, the old days when I was eight standard or nine standard, my grandma was like, you know, something is, you know. Something is wrong with this mobile keypad. Something is wrong in mobile. Can I help you? So, like, the balance is not good. What? <laughs> the balance is not good. I just reached out to the I went to a shop. That time, no, they used to be one card. That's it, and that's it. I got it. Said, oh, it's working, right? To her, that time, I was an engineer. <laughs> so, I helped her to call. Okay. So many things are there. So I will conclude this. Thank you. What a great speech. I mean, he. Talked about reading books. See, it means that just like food is to the body, the books are to your mind. The more and more whatever you feed into your mind, that's what's going to come out of your mouth. It means that the garbage in, garbage out. So if you put good things inside, maybe through our eyes or ears or you know, any sense of it, the same thing is going to reflect on you. The other coincidence is today my daughter, along with her own friends, they are going to this one oh, So yeah. what a you know, coincidence! You know, Right? You are from the ISKCON doing some charity and all those things over there. It's very nice, very good to have your presence over here. Thank you. Yes, we would like to take the next please. You have your name. Mark. 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 Would you like to share any of your experiences if you are the first time here? So, uh, anything which has uh, Motivated you in the last one year or the last two years, even before this time. Anything that has motivated you, you can speak about the experience. Happy morning, Toastmasters and yes, sir. Good morning. Uh, my name is Nadu. And uh, I think the COVID time for me has been the best time of my life. The best. The kind of Evolution I've had in various aspects of my life. So I have been into NLP and you know psychotherapy and things like that. I've been guided by my mentor. So 
I know life, I exist in five levels, physical, mental, emotional, intellectual, and spiritual. When I put my head into you know, learning emotional or mental, I evolved over there. Spiritual, during the COVID, I evolved. One place I always hesitated was physical. I always put my head, you know, my head into the that, that let me take it a little more. It will come, the calling will come, and I had my own spiritual uh, uh, explanation to why I was not taking the physical aspect of it. But the last one year has been the most amazing year um, because I actually put my focus into physical and I I feel much more younger. I I myself, my body, my everything is much more younger than how I was even in my 20s, I guess. So today I'm enjoying a beautiful body. The respect I have for my own body has immensely, immensely, multifoldly increased. And um, I think I open to one small in a sentence which says 80% of your diet, of your food, and 20% of your spend. It is not the other way around. Most of the time when we say physical, get into this thing of, you know, am I, am I exercising enough, am I walking enough, am I doing this, am I doing that, but going and eating a lot of sugar, a lot of food. But thankfully, like I said, the calling would come. I think the calling came through a very, very good practical nutritionist for a working mom who has to balance a lot of things. So she gives such simple things, such simple things, you know, saying this is what you need to do. You need to eat like this. Your plate has to have one, one, one portion of this. That's all you need to take care. And with least exercise, just by handling my diet, which is not just the food on my plate, it's also the food in my mind and the feelings in my heart. I think I have. I'm living in the most beautiful body I can. I could co-create till date. Thank you so much. Thank you, Margie, for an excellent uh, talk which you have given. I teach people about uh, mind science, how to achieve their goals. Because I myself have a goal of buying an ER650 chartered plane by 30th of June 2030. That's my dream. I teach people getting small things. I just love your very good principle, the 80-20 rule, which you told about. And very commonly known in the outside corporate world, which even we learn and we are being trained and we also tell people. This body is like a temple. Because whatever you put into this body, apart from the thoughts, right, that is very important. Because whatever you feed your body accordingly, your eyes, your ears, your sense organs start reflecting. And the day which you mentioned, I feel so great inside this body. It's just like you have created a temple, beautiful temple in which resides that Murti, that statue. So it, it, it is very nice. You feel treasured about it, you know, precious about it. So thank you very much for delivering such a beautiful speech. I understand you are a very good orator. Another thing what I liked about what you, you spoke about the like NLP, you're practicing the neuro linguistic program. Absolutely great and keep practicing. Thank you. Thank you. Next, I would like to call upon anybody, sir? Anybody would like to take an initiative? Sure. Yeah. Please clap. Please clap. Thank you. I would just like to give you a topic which is very close to you. You can pick anything which is very close to you which has changed your life. Any one instance, within one to Anything. Okay. Maybe a year back also. <laughs> or two years back. Maybe one also. Like near to it. So I was getting 
getting like 30, 40, 45, like that. Uh, then, like, I, everything will, will be like going over the head. And like, I, things are coming in for end, whatever is happening, I don't know. Then, uh, 10th class, uh, there is some group formation for this project. Main project we have at uh, that time, we need to implement them. So, uh, people form the groups. Okay. And what happened was that on the day of formation of group, I was asking. <laughs> and like I don't know, uh, I uh, like uh, no one took me on in that in, in this group formation. So uh, due to the initial aspect of this, so that that might be required. Like I completely don't do it, but anyways. So I was I had to handle it alone. Then I took the easiest project. From that easiest project, I implemented that. Then I went on to like understand it much more better. So, from having a series of failures of 1.5 years, uh, within three months I crossed over a, a decent approach in the computer program. That is the one instance that made me pursue computer science in plus one also. That is the one incident that made me take computer science and engineering in my That is the one incident that I am standing here as an R&D engineer in. <laughs> I studied in Manna College of Engineering 
Masam. I know about the Masam Kanpur Sadhi. We used to go there and hang around and so many things. We were also doing all the such mastis and all those things. Never, but, but the thing is, during our examination, one, one and a half months, we never used to come outside. Oh, we were so studious, so this thing that when people used to see our mark, they would say, oh, these people, you know, they got such good marks, just like you. Right? So, great. Keep doing it. Absolutely. Yeah. Next, who would like to take next? Like, we 
means it is not a, uh, you know, okay. uh, when we told about our general elections or something, what do we say? Contract, <laughs> who, who is the uh, government member? Even in the democracy, we are looking at, uh, we are having that uh, thought process of being submissive towards an aristocratic society. Correct. So, this terminology is actually a common some sort of subconscious understanding. Subconscious to the, all the audience and getting being them submissive to a part. Mm -hmm. The democracy is about what? Having equal roles in a uh, social sector. That everyone can have their own voices where they can come over and share their ideas. But the terminology that exists in our present day situation are also making us submissive towards a rule of power and authority which has a hierarchy over every other section of society. Where people are just the, uh, what, what do we say, uh, the last fetch, the last leaf you can say, so just the the final thing, what the final thing is. They need to adjust with the things that are being implemented and they don't have any role for the help, uh, policy policy. There are so many views, it's just a view, a point of view, which I yeah, which yeah, have yeah, heard yeah. from my mentors, which I keep listening to, and you know, I'm, I have a course from Robin Sharma, the, one of the best author in the world. So I have taken his physical his courses online, I keep doing it. So the thing is, he keeps telling, if you want to be a world class, keep reading, as Sir said, keep reading the more, keep reading the more that you start. Yeah, like we say, like, there is no bad place, we are not. We are not raising it, we are self competing with it. On one side, we say that, but at the other side, we come over and say that we want to go to work. That means that we are coming over and we are competing. I think right. to add to them, yeah, I would yeah. say yeah. we could rephrase it and say, you will not, you know, I will not be the best at it, but if I am, mm -hmm. I would like to contribute. Correct. Instead of saying, so, I will do, mm -hmm. you know, give you something. Can, yeah, I can contribute. Like, I, if I am master at, uh, you know, digital marketing. I would want to contribute to the uh, to the you know same industry, yes. right? Yes. So I think we could maybe the, it like that. Cam, maybe you may prefer rule means may uh, take yeah. uh, something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Something yeah. Is, this, you know, concept comes to the future when when I say I rule. And uh, I rule when you need to talk me. Yeah, yeah. So that comes with authority and all those things. Yeah. Please, Mati. So uh, what I have heard, you know, in my uh, learning or journey is a very strong take on what I define as a what I define as understanding. Mm -hmm. So for me, I I have seen and gone through that all of us have our own personal dictionary. Mm -hmm. I'm not we're not looking at the Oxford dictionary, we're not looking at the so-called cycle dictionary or even family dictionary mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. We have our own personal dictionary. Mm -hmm. yes. So in our personal dictionary, the definition of rule mm -hmm. can be coming can be coming from somewhere, you know, some kind of conditioning which is rule yes. puts me, you know, makes me submit. Yes. So and how do you define something that is confined yeah. according to me? So, so and what happens? So what happens is when we look at the social media, when we look at TV, okay. we are predominantly forced to define a particular word in the definition that they are trying to throw on us. And we actually, you know, put very strongly on us. And we tend to get carried away by it. So maybe you know that is what is so when you say right, I, I see it in the uh, maybe not in the generation that of, of 80s and 90s. Millennials, I think, yeah, the millennials have been <laughs> so <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not, I'm not yeah, it's, 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 a, it's, a, it's a very uh, you know exciting for me personally, you know, to realize I work with children, I work with evolving, you know, I have different yes. thought process. I also work with them. So when I see the children coming up with a particular word sticking to that word and you're know, trying to prove somebody else wrong and they're just a right. Because of the social media, because of things, right? Yeah. I'm very curious to understand how that rule or from where did it come from? As yeah. you said, yeah, I totally agree with you. A lot of subconscious programming is done exactly. outside. Huh. Everywhere, every step, the moment you step out of the house, forget about stepping out of the house, even inside the house with a small mobile phone, so many things get bombarded and we get programmed not, not right from now, right from our childhood. So many things are inside in the subconscious mind. It only comes when something you have thought very easy and you see something and that time it pops up automatically. So anyway, that's fine. Let's continue with our journey. But Next. Good yeah, yeah. Good, good, good one. Thank you very much for your thoughts. Please. Thank you very much. Next, who would like to take next? Yeah, please. Charity begins at home. So at home, you must be having your mama's favorite dish of food. I would like to focus on that. This is your mama's or your kind of good food or a favorite food. Please speak about it. 
Good morning, everybody. Morning. Uh, I think it's truly a charity when you know our mothers cook for us. Uh, so very recently, I decided to uh, move out. You could call this the adulting phase, where you know you have to you have to zeal to do everything on your own. So I moved out I think two months ago, and I moved closer to office. I would, I would come back here, uh, I think, on the weekends, sometimes, uh, not on the weekends as well, because, you know, I'm living a life. Uh, but I recently had to come back home uh, for a few reasons, and I wasn't in a good state. I was having a fever, I was not okay mentally, and I see my mother, uh, bring uh, me my comfort food, which is standard rice. And, and I see that I didn't have to speak, I didn't have to ask, I was, I was just there in my room, smiling, sobbing, wallowing, uh, having my Netflix on and going like, my whole life is over. Uh, you know, I'm 24, but you know, I'm not, I'm not happy, I'm back home. Coming back home itself was like taking going back to square one, but I didn't realize moving out itself was moving out and coming back itself is going to level ten. <laughs> so I think that is the true charity that what we do for you know our loved ones, provided we also you know prioritize ourselves first. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We call it as pulio again, right? Yeah, pulio. And it's the easiest dish. Even uh, my wife is an educator. Yeah. My wife is an educator, and in the morning hours when everybody's rushing to the office, she prepares that dish and she says, "Since I work for a US based company, my work starts in the evening. Have that food. I prepared a nice dish." Then she says, "It's pulio again." I say, "Oh, pulio again." <laughs> but it can be made faster, right? With all the mixes. And thank you for uh, remembering that. It's very nice. I have at least in a week once or twice I could get that. Thank you very much. Next, I would like to call Pania Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to share your experience in your from your native place. Anything about your native place you would like to share? Any such events? Yeah. Maybe in your college days or something like that. I think okay. this would be the last. Okay, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Okay, so native place, a good native place. Honestly, nowadays I feel that number Bangalore is like native place. Uh, because <laughs> since I uh, 2009, uh, so I, I don't go much into my native place. But however, uh, there are a lot of very good memories in my native place while I was in college. Uh, like while I was studying college, uh, one time we planned to bunk. Uh, College and we went to one uh, nearby one uh, falls or something, one place. It's a very dangerous, dangerous place. Um, even earlier, my grandfather he used to a lot of story about the place because the, the place was very dangerous. So you can't predict where the big fall will be. So people are dying in lack of time. Uh, but I did not uh, uh, listen those things and all. We went around and now uh, to poor people. We went there. Uh, so for me, when I see the falls, uh, rivers, I felt like baby. I never uh, feel like anything. I completely forgot. I started to uh, run. But people warned me actually. Hey, I think don't go for uh, this very dangerous. Because I did not listen anything. I started to uh, jump into that uh, water flow. I started to uh, feel like baby. Uh, suddenly, one certain point of time, one place I just take step. Something for uh, pulling me inside. Okay? Something pulling me inside. Okay, I thought uh, after that also I did not realize. Again, I take step, step forward. It literally pushed me inside. Okay. So I started to jump. Uh, two times I, was, I, I tried to jump. I literally I was calling my mother friend. Uh, uh, please uh, save me, save me. Okay. Those people are thought okay. I know swimming. I just pulling, I kicking them. Because earlier I used to uh, play like that. Okay, hey, hey, I'm going to uh, go at the uh, please save me like that. So that time I was, I thought, okay, well, I'm done. <laughs> but unfortunately, I think only one guy asked me, 
uh, explicitly for our first speaker, Mr. Dara. Uh, everybody knows about it, Atta, the family, uh, so now everywhere they are in, uh, now they have a favorite football team, so they have that. So Tata, everybody knows about Tata, what they have done for in society. But at the same time, some unknown story about Tata. It's really uh, good, I think, uh, the way you started with a good message, actually, some great, actually. Uh, it's maybe again like the corner of the street. Uh, so the way how, the way, uh, this is one of the examples of how, the way you start the speaker. So every speaker, uh, audience will interact with the speaker at the first 10 seconds. The 10 second you make everybody to uh, make you listen. So good start. Uh, so also, I think initially very good interaction with the audience. Everybody knows about data and you put the right question to the right audience. They have a response. After that, you want to take that to a whole story. Um, next, I think that the, I mean, the speech structure is very good. You explain about the data and the, how the downfall happened, so how they come back with the starting uh, structure of the, the uh, middle of the story and ending everything is fine. Um, what is your style? What I really like actually, you have the basic expression. So how you are, uh, so you are eye, uh, I mean, more than eye contact, the eye expression actually. So how you are enjoyed actually each and every moment about Tata story. Uh, so I really enjoy the way you are spoken from your heart. Uh, I connect, everything is fine. So one second you are this, your uh, hand gesture. So your hand gesture, you have an appropriate hand gesture. So not like not like uh, every time you are not using hand gesture, you are using it at the uh, correct place, correct hand gesture you, you utilized. And everything is fine. So your speech content is good, uh, your body language, your hand gesture, everything is fine. Uh, what you could be work on better, uh, probably I think your stage movement, you may uh, work on that. Uh, so especially there is a, in your story, you have a different, different segment. Example that when you are so, uh, spoken about, Tata is about personal, personal. Next thing went to that, uh, how they achieve the dream. So probably you may uh, move, little bit movement, uh, that particular situation. So it will be due for some diversity uh, during we can understand, okay, I think it will go for different, different uh, period, different, different segments. Uh, so the one more thing, uh, so when that failure happens, that situation, so you may give some good little bit emotion so that how that uh, breakup happened. Uh, so that a little bit emotion, you can just down that, you can down that situation. So it will be help with a variety of expression. Uh, one more suggestion, uh, so your, your speech title is the father of man. So everybody can't know, okay, I think you are going to speak about Tata. So it's a speech title is the art actually. Uh, probably you can use some indirect title, some fa fancy, not fancy title. So people should not uh, guess actually what Tata is going to speak. So I think I will challenge you about that, uh, that title of uh, your next speech. So overall, it was a very, very good speech, well structured. Well, emotion and uh, well, you are very much confident, confident on that. So you, you could work on that little bit of uh, body movement, uh, so little bit of uh, emotion and uh, voice model, etc. So that's all. All the very best for your next speech. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much for funny and then for a very detailed and comprehensive report on Kasmas uh, You were uh, quite. Uh, Encouraging to the speaker as well as you give a lot of points uh, to recommend uh, some of the practical points which she could take up, take back uh, what she can improve. One point of uh, improvement as an evaluator for you is that uh, evaluation itself is a speech, prepared speech for two to three minutes. So sometimes what happens is you are given all the points and in the end you added one more point. So that becomes a little bit, uh, it takes away the uh, structure or flow away from whatever you are doing. So when you are noting down this uh, feedback and when before you come on to the stage, maybe have uh, structure ready in your speech. Apart from that, uh, there are few things which you miss in her speech. Uh, maybe it is my opinion. Uh, while she was speaking, uh, she had all her uh, body language in place. I observed sitting at the back, I observed that the speaker had clasped her hands for quite some uh, considerable time. So that 
that you could have mentioned it in your spiritualism. Sometimes what happens is when we clasp our hands, we become quite rigid and it limits our use of both hands. We can keep it flexible like this. Instead of holding both hands tightly like this, we can just keep uh, both hands together uh, in a loose manner. And whenever we need to use a specific hand, we can go like this or like this. So that that comes with a little bit of practice being conscious when we are speaking. I think uh, going forward, uh, the speaker can be conscious of this. Overall, uh, great evaluation by Dr. Pandurani. Next, the second speech by Dr. Sajjai, and uh, I'm the evaluator. Let me come to that uh, the speech evaluation. Kashli clip. It's a very interesting paper, speech paper. And I think uh, all the audience members uh, were hooked on to your uh, page and uh, were looking for uh, what exact story you were going to tell. And I think uh, this title very much uh, was uh, the, that particular thing you uh, taste, you made us taste with uh, that particular cuisine. And I think uh, that taste with all of us were hooked to it. Uh, kept the entire audience entertained towards your highly sonic speech. Put us to well done. Uh, I would like to mention here that uh, for any human speech, the universal topic would be whatever happened between uh, husband and wife. And you took exactly that and you made it a very entertaining speech. Very good storytelling capability from you. And uh, there were a few references, like for example, the sun setting in the evening, uh, which was uh, crimson red, and due to you being a crimson face, you couldn't enjoy that uh, crimson face uh, sun. Very good reference, to, uh, very good use of a uh, similar metaphor. Uh, there were uh, lots of uh, situations which brought us uh, humor, some uh, laughs or maybe some, uh, I would say, smiles. And uh, you were uh, very good in uh, uh, getting laughs out of the situation. That is, I think, uh, you are very natural at, and uh, you supported your story with a uh, lot of good gestures. You are quite natural in it. In fact, I would say that if anyone wants to be good at uh, using our own uh, body or voice, I think at the right moment when you are narrating the story, if you can inject those emotions, I think uh, those body language or uh, even the voice will come out naturally. That is the best way of showing uh, body language of distance. So overall, I felt uh, it was, uh, you had a very good sense of humor, situational humor, and you were quite natural at it. Keep uh, doing whatever you are doing. So one uh, point of feedback is that uh, maybe when uh, you mentioned the story here, you, became quite, you were quite natural at it. Uh, here and there, there were a little bit of ass and ums. At uh, that time, maybe it is because you are remembering it and telling from, mentioning the story from your memory at that particular time. So, before you came here, if you could have practiced a little bit, I think uh, those uh, uh, uncomfortable pauses, it could have been your comfortable pauses, which could have added uh, more detail or more depth to your story, which could have gotten more laughs. So, uh, a meaningful pause would have added the more laughs. Like you would deliver a punchline and you give a few seconds to the audience to reflect, understand, and then respond. So overall, I uh, really want, uh, enjoyed the story. It was entertaining. I hope that I can speak for the audience that all of us were entertained by you. And uh, great start to your uh, engaging humor journey. All the best. Thank you. So with that, uh, any feedback to me as a speech evaluator would be welcome, of course, half me, absolutely. Now that uh, both the speech evaluations are done, can we have a big round of applause? <laughs> Next, I would like to invite the Toastmaster Pandi to share the time at the moment. I'd 
like to share the timing report. The first speaker, Toastmaster Kala, she took six minutes and 43 seconds. Second speaker, Toastmaster Vijay, he took six minutes and 63 seconds, both uh, within the minutes. For the table topic, uh, the first is uh, Pandit. Pandya Rajasthan. No, no, no. No, no, no. Gautam, you took uh, two minutes and 25 seconds. Thank you very much. Madhvi, you took two minutes and 30 seconds. That is within the time. Ashok, you little bit exceeded. That's fine. Two minutes and 43 seconds. Good. You can give a try next time too. Thank you. Next is uh, Meghna. Meghna, that's okay. Meghna, you took two minutes and 10 seconds. Thank you. Toastmaster Vijay, you took two minutes and ten seconds. Yeah, good. Within the time limit. Toastmaster Ria, you took exactly two minutes. Good. <laughs> Toastmaster Pandya Rasu, you took two minutes and thirty seconds. Wow, fantastic. Almost all of the order. And for the evaluators, uh, Pandya Rasu, uh, Toastmaster Pandya Rasu, you took three minutes and twenty-three seconds. And Toastmaster Subramanian, sir, you took three minutes and eighteen seconds. So well within the time. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Can we have a big round of applause for him? He was quite finicky about this. Finally. So, you need to put your chest up. The right word to put it. So, we just have a very quick wedding group of the year to share her language position. So let me start with the good uh, side of the language, Vijay. Um, I think I would start with uh, Vijay. He, he referred to the crimson rays um, that he could see on the that he could see on the water, the reflection on the water, uh, which he referred to his face, which is very humorous, and I think that's very good. And um, I think that is the highlight of uh, you know. The, the good side. Uh, there are a few improvement uh, area where I would like to highlight. Uh, IBM company was used in a sentence which could have been uh, used as joined a company called IBM. Uh, even till today can be used as even to this day or even to this day. Uh, from starting onwards can be used as from the beginning. Uh, when Career started to be used as initial days of my career. So these were the uh, areas of improvement. Coming to our founder, uh, Vijay, Pradeep, and Madhavi did not use any R or followers. So <laughs> the particular word like was, was, was used. <laughs> So, like yeah, you know, like that, which is hmm, ah, were used. So, let's try to rectify these and try to remember better in the next session. Thank you. So, no addition to I'm uh, using that word. Uh, when we use uh, two superlative words, are uh, like more better. Uh, it is always uh, useful to use only one. Better is itself comparing two things, and it, is, it doesn't make any sense to use more better or uh, more prettier. It's always, let us always use one word when we are uh, referring to something which is better than other. So that is uh, one additional uh, observation I have. And have a big round of applause for <laughs> Next, uh, I will quickly uh, share my report for this meeting. Uh, as per uh, original uh, time, which was mentioned on the poster, the meeting was supposed to start at 10:30. Uh, Due to a few road takers, including yours fully, coming up at last moment, uh, we had to wait till 10:43. And they say started the meeting at exactly 10:43. 
In fact, I would like to commend the efforts of uh, the division director and also the air director for uh, having the prepared reports and sharing uh, the poster in the group and also identifying all the role takers. Uh, there were one or two role takers who did not uh, make it uh, till the end. And uh, thanks to the division director and also the those uh, of the who identified the band in uh, table topics master. So kudos to you, those master. <laughs> Uh, the SAA was quite diligent and uh, he did the task, uh, he was up to the task by uh, starting out the meeting and energetic and passing out. I did not take much time uh, in introducing the uh, present within the uh, accommodated time, did not take even uh, more time, more, more than uh, two minutes. And I think uh, he did quite well in terms of whatever he knew to introduce the preceding company. And now we did not have a We had a training officer uh, come in and uh, starting up and welcoming the uh, entire audience members to the meeting. He also uh, made it uh, an official uh, start to the meeting uh, by uh, starting the meeting uh, on an official note. And uh, he did quite well in getting the introductions of all the guests who were uh, in attendance in today's meeting. And uh, you also shared about uh, your own perspective about uh, the theme of the day. One point of feedback for the presiding officer is that while we always share our own experience or our own perspective about uh, the theme of the day, it's always uh, good to end the presiding officer's address on a positive note by sharing a message. That is something we expect from any presiding officer's address. While it's important to hand it over to the Toastmaster today by introducing him, before introducing the uh, Toastmaster today, it's uh, very much important to share that message because SIA and the president are presiding officers are two people who get the opportunity to speak in every meeting. So you should not miss out on that uh, opportunity to share your own message, whatever take away message you want to convey. That is one point of feedback I would like to give to the presiding officer. Uh, I would uh, share my feedback to the Toastmaster today towards the end. Uh, while uh, all the role takers did their job well in terms of uh, the evaluators, speakers, even the timer and the language evaluator did their uh, role pretty well in spite of taking it uh, with uh, uh, limited uh, people available. Uh, especially uh, Special round of uh, comment, uh, comments, uh, appreciation to uh, Ria. And uh, we are looking forward to have uh, you continue your journey and become a cutting Toastmaster. Uh, to the table topics master, uh, I would like to thank him for uh, having taken up this role at the last moment because there was another person I invited for this particular role. And that person since uh, were unable to attend this meeting, uh, Toastmaster Pradeep uh, stood up and uh, he uh, did this role perfectly and wonderfully. And the choice of topics uh, were very much apt for the theme of the meeting. And I would say that uh, as a, every time I get this chance to speak as a general evaluator, table topic session is one such session wherein the audience members, if they are coming to uh, at Christmas meeting for the first time, they uh, leave their comfort zone and uh, become vulnerable enough to share their story. And that's what happened today as well. The choice of table topics was very much enticing and challenging enough for the table topic speakers to share their story. And that's what is the magic of table topics. Kudos to you, Dr. One point of observation, it may not be specific to the uh, whole, any role, but uh, one uh, important learning what we uh, always uh, keep on harping and keep on uh, asking others to follow is the value of time. So we started on 10 30 and we were supposed to end at 12 30. Sometimes it's always important to have the agenda so that uh, we understand no matter who is the role taker. We understand how much time is given to each start so that we don't 
we always are careful not to exceed that much time. So, by very, it's very much important that uh, we have a very healthy and engaging conversation with audience members due to some ideas being exciting enough so that we can't stop ourselves from speaking on the topic. But yet, it's very much important that we start the discussion there and move on to the next session. So, that is the importance of uh, time. Hope that uh, we will uh, understand and respect the importance of time. That is one thing. Now, coming back to the most important role, that is the drone master today. I think the drone master Pandirajan is one such a very comfortable, he has become very comfortable uh, doing whatever he gets or he is uh, given, I would say, to make it very impromptu. And uh, today, you are in your elements as a very confident and uh, very charming, uh, very smiling uh, drone master today. <laughs> and you brought in your passive energy to uh, this meeting. Uh, Knowing uh, all the role takers and all the guests personally, and uh, the, the camaraderie which you had with other role takers and with the guests were wonderful. That showed very much in the smile you offered them when you invited them to speak, especially if you guests who dined in the middle of the meeting. That smile was visible and that made them more comfortable. Feel welcome and more comfortable. Kudos to you. There is that another thing that uh, amount of uh, preparation you had and also the preparation you had done to correct the uh, introduction and the comfort level of which you were uh, able to introduce them and made them welcome on the stage. That is incredible. So kudos you and keep the uh, good work going. We also had uh, very uh, good uh, Observational skill that made the job of uh, the general director easier. In fact, uh, you made it all the more easier by summarizing whatever uh, table topic speakers had to say, and I did not have to cover for them. So you will make much job easier. So with that, uh, can we have a big round of applause? With that, uh, I hope that all of us. Had fun and uh, very learning uh, experience. Uh, with that, I would like to take your. Uh, I would like to sign off and uh, uh, under feedback, whatever you have for the general director, please welcome. That's of course up to the meeting. Thank you. Over to you. There is always room of improvement. I think uh, we can. Uh, we will implement one of the feedback uh, our, our distinguished postmasters and this. Definitely as a, as a club, as a collective effort, we will implement, we will make a better than today. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh, with that, I will just quickly, I will summary my, uh, my team now. Uh, just I want to summarize the charity beginnings at home. Uh, what we need to do actually, what is my, people are, whatever, even our children, our parents, everybody will follow what we are doing. Suppose we, we are telling something to our uh, uh, children, or else our, we are not, a, not of them are very much senior in our job, even Toastmaster, everywhere. Everybody will follow what we are doing. Suppose if we are preaching something, definitely we need to follow. If you are telling to your daughter, you read, you should read the book instead of uh, uh, watching the mobile. Firstly, we need to start to read the book actually. So that's why they will start to follow the same thing. So instead of just telling yeah, you read, but if we are watching that as on Netflix or as cricket or football, so they will also follow the same thing. So like in office also, if you are telling, okay, you need to come 9.30 means you should be there in 9.30. <laughs> yeah, so that is the one message I want to uh, tell to everyone before I sign up. So thank you very much. Uh, I hope everybody enjoy at least something take away uh, from my uh, TMOD session. Definitely a lot of takeaway from each, uh, each and every individual day, feedback on the table topic. I got a lot of input from them. So with that, I will sign off. I will hand over the stage to today's officer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Toastmaster of the day, and also to the general evaluations who have given us such great feedback. We will definitely take all the feedback in a very positive way because I myself was late today due to some reason. So I see that from next time I'll be here on time and see that all of us, each one of us, uh, come here on time because in those months we value your time a lot.
Uh, next thing is that uh, I request each one of you, maybe uh, you are coming from whichever place, you can get one guest over here for our next meeting, uh, maybe next Sunday, 10.30, we meet here every 10.30 uh, a.m. every Sunday. So you can get your guest or friends or your colleagues or anybody over here so that uh, we can get this, you know, if they are staying in and around, they can get chartered, we can get this chartered because for chartering, we require 20 members. So we are around 12 members right now, almost ready to, you know, to get into this. So once we have 20 members, we'll be able to charter this club as early as possible. So that's our main motive. So thank you very much, each one of you. You participated and we learned a lot from each one of us and we'll be taking things further. So uh, if there is there anything else which our guests want to share before I look at the meeting close? I'm sure you have any views, anything. Uh, or what did you, what's your takeaway today from this meeting? Uh, like my takeaway would be the relevance of time. Uh, so like I like I, I started uh, earlier only, but due to the traffic and all. Oh, that's uh, right. But then after uh, like when we are speaking, that time uh, space we need to add. So that relevance of time, I already know about this, but there is one point we know of and you realize. Okay. So thank you very much. Yeah. That 15 seconds, what do you exit? Maybe next next week when you come, you'll be within that time. No, not just speaking. Okay. Like from other speech also. Like, yes. Uh, I don't know the thing. Uh, Superman, you close master. So uh, this is an uh, about that uh, and find find it as speech. Also. Yes. That uh, when they are putting that stress on time. So we are here. So we will know. Thank you. So you learned about the importance of time. Yeah. Nathan, what did you learn? What is your takeaway from today's session? Anything, any one point? Like to take your time. So that is time. Time. Time is valuable. Madhu? Um, actually, I didn't know what was the second Oh, that so you were not knowing the time. time. Oh, sorry for that. Okay. It was just more of you know, what I wanted to say in business, but I don't know whether it was within the time or the exam. Maybe after the meeting, we'll just have a chit chat and we'll let you know about it. Okay. So next time when you come, you are mentally prepared for the speech. Yeah. Uh, Gautam. Gautam, sorry. Gautam. Yeah. Uh, takeaway would be expression. But, uh, when we're speaking, some, sometimes we speak in a pain without any expression. Yeah, uh, by seeing the man and you and the expression matters. Yes. I'll be going that. Thank you. Thank you very much for your feedback. And we uh, wish all of you to keep coming here every week and try to get your friends and be a close one so that we can make this chart to the earliest and we'll all keep learning. So with this, I'll go ahead and declare closing of the meeting, charter, pre-charter meeting 12 for the Nagarbagi Toastmasters Club. Thank you very much.